Hello. Today we're going to be doing a run cycle. And I've tried this three times now, but there's a weird bug popping up, and I'm not sure what's causing it. So this time I'm going to see whether or not I can get around that bug. Um, we'll see. So I'm not going to do a very good tutorial about run cycles, but I am going to knock one out, and you can watch me do it. Uh, the run cycle is the most fundamental part of any uh, character that you build, monster or player or whatever, because the run cycle is going to be defining the vast majority of what that character does as it moves around the world. Now, if your character never moves, obviously a stand cycle is going to be the most important. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a new run animation, and we don't want any of these keyframes, so we just delete them all. Oh. Run cycle, there we go. Uh, and we want to hit this F button so it saves, otherwise it won't, well, it won't save. All right, so. What we need to do is just move the legs into a position. The cycle always begins and ends with uh, everything in the exact same spot, obviously. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a... the cycle ends with the right leg hitting the ground. Like this. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate the body a little bit, just to give it a sense of existing. There we go. And then select it all and insert. I'm only going to save the rotation, because I think that what the problem was is that I was probably screwing up something with the base bone. I'm not sure exactly what was going on with it, but we'll find out. So then I'm going to select another point, and I'm going to go ahead and select 32. And we just need to insert the exact same frame. So we go halfway between the two, and we can start to work on the actual cycle part. Now obviously, in midway between the two, we have the exact opposite situation. Now one of the things you never want to make the mistake of, you don't want each side to look identical. Uh, it's easy to go ahead and use like a mirror operator or something. Um, and just say, okay, yeah, both sides are identical, but you really don't want to do that. You should really um, uh, make each side unique, because otherwise it ends up looking super, super mechanical. And even though I'm building something that is mechanical, I don't want it to look that mechanical. All right, so that was all. That was definitely the problem. So in this case, I did not save the location of the bones, and I didn't. I didn't run into the bug. The bug was this crazy mesh falling off the bottom of the screen bug. I have no idea what was causing it, but apparently it's related to saving location. So I'm not saving location, just rotation. This does mean that I won't be able to move the mech up and down as it runs, which is a, a major disappointment to me. But I guess it's okay. Um, the vast majority of the up and down movement will come from the fact that you're bounding across a lunar surface anyway. Uh, and later on I'll have to figure out exactly what was going on with that. So then we go to halfway between these two, and this is where the right leg is coming back and propelling the mech forward, where the left leg is coming forward in readiness to land again. So here's the leg that's coming forward, and the leg that's going back... like this. Now you notice that it's falling below the ground, um, and that's not something that you generally want. In actuality, this part should be, so the mech should be popping up, it should be moving upwards, but I don't have the ability to do that in this particular moment, and I'm still too sick to figure out exactly what's going on, so that's fine. The arms are actually in more or less the right place, except that the arm which is coming back needs to be curled a bit more. There we go. And then, insert rotation. And you can see how it's starting to look right. Now there is a trick with the arms, and I'm going to show you that now by going over here into the fourth spot. Uh, now this is the uh, the right leg is just starting. It, it, the legs are actually in very close to the right position. So we're just going to go ahead and do it like this. A um, little bit of a bent leg because it's taking in the impact of landing. But the key Excuse me. The key is actually that the arms aren't retracting yet. They are at their most extended at this particular point. There we go.
Oh, did I save the... I must have saved the location when I wasn't looking. And that was the bug, as you might have seen. So, uh... Oh, look, it's happening again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What the heck's going on? Apparently it's only a bug when you run across it at certain speeds or something. I really don't know what's going on with that, but it's got to be a blender bug. Uh, maybe it's caused by the fact that I'm also recording. I have no idea. All right, whatever. So this point here, after the fact, um, it just looks awful with the feet. So we're going to go ahead and modify the feet so that they don't look quite as bad. Um, but as you can see, the whole point is that the left leg is coming forward, ready to land, and we want to highlight that. So. Let's go ahead and bring the left leg way up. And the right leg is pushing off. It should actually be probably off the ground by now. Um, maybe not completely. We'll go ahead and let the toes hit. All right, so that should be fine. Insert. Rotation. Now we have to just repeat the process for the other side. And this is where a lot of people would be like, okay, I'm just going to clone it. But you really can't do that. You've got to do the exact same thing again. Um, yeah, that looks okay. So here is the midpoint again. And once again, we've got a leg that is pushing and a leg that is coming back forward. But in this case, they're reversed. So this is the leg that is coming back forward. And this is the leg that is pushing. And again, I want this arm to be a little bit more bent. And insert rotation. And we'll go here. And uh, this is the point when we are just absorbing the impact. So we want our legs to be a little bit bent. And we're just pushing off. So like this. And our arms are going to be at their most extended. Nope. And then over here, we're going to be just fixing up the legs so they don't look like shit. Um, actually, that looks pretty decent. Uh, not, not perfect, but very close. I just exaggerate everything a little bit better. All right, that actually doesn't look too bad. If we see through it, we fall off the bottom of the screen. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and open up our Unity project and see how it looks in Unity. All right, so here we are in Unity. And we want to go ahead and open up the mech. We're now using mech 6 rather than mech 5. And you can see that we have a run animation all built in. And you can see that it absorbed the damaged, bugged out run rather than the legit run. There's something wrong with Blender. I'm not sure. Let's try saving it from here. Okay, that worked. I don't know what was going on. There's definitely a bug in the version of Blender I've got. There's no reason for that to happen. But as you can see, the run doesn't look too bad. And that is the run we're going to be using for now. Uh, it is not a very... Uh, it's an overly fluid run that doesn't have any of the up and down that it should have. Uh, and it's also a fairly reserved run. It doesn't have as much of the energy as you might want your runs to have. Um, there's Very rarely will you make the mistake of going too cartoony. Uh, very, it's actually quite difficult to make a run too cartoony. Um, so if you're making a character, feel free to really uh, exaggerate the motions involved. But in this case, I need to be able to use IK on both the feet and the hands. And there's probably going to be a large load on the back. So I needed to have a fairly reserved animation so that I can make it wildly inappropriate with my IK gestures. All right, well, that's it for today. And maybe I will go back to the game tomorrow.